started sending out the Be Human campaign to investors yesterday. We got BVP. She'd love to meet. Check this out. Insight Partners. Got them on the schedule. And I've had a few of those meetings so far and they went really well and there's high interest there. So things are looking really good. I ended up booking eight meetings with great VC firms, thrilled with those results. Um, and I even have some investors taking a deeper look at our data. So things are looking really good. All right, so today we're joined by Carolyn, founder of We Shop. So Carolyn, tell us, what are you trying to achieve today with Be Human? Well, we're trying to get in front of the right investors um, to raise our pre-seed round. Gotcha. And so what's the strategy here? You want to send them some videos? Yeah, I want to be able to reach out to them personally. So um, I'm going to use the Be Human videos to try to book meetings with them and actually get them to take an hour with me. Okay, got it. So. The first step here is we need to get some data on these investors. So today I'm using Apollo. There are a million data tools out there um, that you can use. You could scrape Sales Navigator. You could use a third-party tool like this. Um, but for now, let's let's do a quick search. What kind of um, investors are you looking for? I imagine it's early stage investors, right? Yes, early stage uh, venture capital firms. Got it. Okay. All right. So let's do some quick targeting here. I'm going to put investor and VC into the job title field. Okay. All right, so we have about 3,000 different VCs and investors here. So everyone from Soma, VU Ventures, right? List goes on and on. So this looks like a pretty good list to start from. Um, what I'll do now is I'll export this list into a CSV file. So you can do that by simply selecting the page and then adding it to your list and eventually exporting all of those into a CSV. All right, so we're back. Um, we went through the list and we removed anybody who wasn't early stage. It's really important to have good data. I mean, you can have the best message, the best video in the world, but if you're sending it to the wrong person, it's not gonna help. So we went through the list. There's about, let's see, 815 or so different investors here. So now our next step is actually to take this data and put it into the Be Human platform. So Carolyn, are you ready to start generating some videos? I sure am. Let's do it. Awesome. Cool. So let's go into Be Human. And our first step actually is to either record or upload a video. Alternatively, we could use templates because this is very specific to you raising money. You want to talk about your company. We're going to be recording your own video. Um, I believe you've already done this, right? You used your iPhone for it. Yep, I did. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and upload that file. So our upload is complete and now transcription has started. What this means is, there we go. We wrote down what you said during the video. So from this point, all we have to do is select the part we want to personalize. And the only variable in here, I believe, is the first name. Is that right? All right, so all we got to do then is highlight the part where we say that variable. So you'd think that, okay, I just need to highlight the name part. Um, but if we try to do that, you'll see it actually jumps and highlights that whole phrase, high name. And the reason for that is because our variables need to be surrounded by pauses, as it says here. So oftentimes we're going to be creating the variable itself is going to be the, the phrase. So hello name, or I see you're in city, right? So oftentimes a variable can be an entire phrase. Okay. So with that said, let's hit next. And now it's time to import our data. So we could either connect an integration if we're using Zapier to automate this in some way. But in our case, we already have our data right here in a spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and download this. One thing to consider is um, we made our variable name, we just called it name, right, for first name. So we want to make sure that our column header lines up with that. So I'm going to name this column name, which is what we'll be personalizing here. And let's download this as a CSV. All right, so let's go ahead and upload that CSV file. All right, great. So we have our names in. And Carolyn, as I can see here, it looks like you already recorded a lot of these. Is that right? I did, yeah. Okay, awesome. And we can see that because this play button is in black. So if I was to play, for example, Alfonso. Hi, Alfonso. You've already gotten in here and recorded them. So that's awesome. 
So now the last thing to do is go ahead and click generate. So let's do that now. So because there's about 815 rows in this list, it'll take a couple of minutes to fire up the generation process and then probably about 30 to 40 minutes to generate all these videos. All right, we're back. It's been about 30, 35 minutes and you can see all of these videos have generated. So we had our name column, which is what we imported with that CSV file. And we have two extra columns here, one for video and one for thumbnail. So if we want to see the video for Bernardo, for example, all we have to do is click the link and we can take a look. Hi, Bernardo. Hope you're well. I'm Carolyn, founder of WeShop, an app where people can browse or shop together live on any online store. And Looks pretty good. So at this point, we have to download all this data and then import it into some sort of mailing system to send it out. So to do that, let's open this tab up. We actually have some new features coming out where you can send it with just the click of a button. So Carolyn, what tool do you want to use to send these out? Uh, GMAX. Okay, awesome. So let's download the CSV file. So the way GMS in particular works is it connects to a Google Sheet with your data inside. So we went ahead and re-uploaded the data into Google Sheets and we have our video and thumbnail column right here. So now all we have to do is go to your inbox and let's click this button, which will basically access the Google Sheet that we just created. So there it is. And we're gonna connect to spreadsheet. All right, perfect. So you see 794 recipients here. So to actually embed the video in the template email, all we have to do is go into HTML. And there's a little bit of an HTML snippet that I'm going to provide here. All it does is basically it takes that thumbnail, puts it into an image in the email, and then links that image to the video itself. So I'm going to copy and paste that in right now. All right, so here's the code snippet. We just pasted it in, so let's hit OK. And now you can see we have this blank image that has showed up in our template. So you can go through this template and you can edit this text and you know make it yours. But for embedding the video, what matters is really this, which has been done. So we're all good here. Um, so let's go ahead and let's send a test email. And to do so, you want to put your own information in a row um, and then send that to yourself. So basically, GMAS can actually take a real row from your data. So, you know, everything is really hooked up well. So we can do that by clicking this button and putting in our email and sending a test. And I'll open up my email on my side and we can see how it looks. So the email just came in, um, but it looks like there was one small error. The first name column was not hooked up correctly. So let's go ahead and check the template. And you'll see here we have hi first name. However, in our spreadsheet, we just called that first name name. So let's update that. We can do that by coming into our template and just changing this to name. Okay, perfect. And let's send ourselves another test. Awesome, here it is. So. Hey Don, I was looking over your portfolio. I think we might be a nice fit. And then we have our video embedded here. We click on it and it's beautiful. So how does this look, Carolyn? Yeah, it looks awesome. Great, okay. That's great, we can put the image right in there. Yeah, yeah, and that's really useful. I mean, giving folks a preview basically of what's inside is really important. I mean, it's all part of the hook to get them, you know, okay, let's open the email, right? Which is why we use a subject like this, just recorded this video for you, right? Mm -hmm. They're in the email, what's the next step? Okay, let's let's watch the video, right? They watch the video, okay, let's reply. So it's all about thinking about it in terms of those steps. All right, great. So now the last thing to do is to hit send and we can do that by clicking this GMAS button. Great, so those emails have sent about 815. And over the next couple of days, we'll see how the results go. What do you think? What are you feeling, Carolyn? I feel good about it. It's such a nice personal approach. We'll see. Excellent. And you'll be vlogging the whole process, right? So you'll be telling us what's going on, how many replies you're seeing, right? Yep, I'll keep you posted for sure. Awesome. Sounds good, Carolyn. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, so started sending out the Be Human campaign to investors yesterday, and I already have two calls booked. Check this out. First, we got BVP, she'd love to meet, and we've got it booked. Next, we've got 
Insight Partners and got them on the schedule. Okay, so the uh, Be Human campaign, I was doing to try to get meetings with VC firms. Uh, finished a couple days ago and I got 240 opens out of 794 recipients. So 30, over 30% overnight, which is amazing. Um, I got 15 replies and out of those replies, I booked four calls with huge VC firms that are so hard to get in front of. And, you know, like BVP, uh, Insight Partners, and a few other huge ones. So that's really cool. Um, and I had a few of those meetings so far and they went really well and there's high interest there. So things are looking really good. And I haven't even sent the follow-ups now. So I'm just gonna set that up right now because it's been a few days um, and I'm sure I'll book more calls from following up. So stay tuned. All right, so I've sent out all the follow-ups. It's been a week and I ended up booking eight meetings with great VC firms. Um, and I had sent out 850 videos. So I'm thrilled with those results. Um, and I even have some investors taking a deeper look at our data. So things are looking really good.